In this video, you'll see how to change the IP address in Bluepill devices. Here, I'll use an Airfly Pro, but the procedure is the same for all Bluepill products. What we need to do is open Reactor, the web based configuration manager for Bluepill. Here, we'll go to the settings page and change the IP address to our liking. Click Save, and that's it. But in order to access Reactor, we need to know the current IP address of the device. Bluepill products are network based and leave the factory with IP set to DHCP. For this reason, we recommend you have a DHCP server for initial setup. If you have a DHCP server in your network, you'll see an IP address in the display after boot up. This is the address you use to access the device. If you do not have a DHCP server in the network, then you'll see Find Me on None in the display. In this case, we simply need to wait one and a half minute. Then the device will switch to its fallback IP address. The fallback address is 192.168.10.99, and now this address can be used to access the device. If you still don't see an IP address, not even the fallback IP, then this could be caused by a few things. Maybe your device is running older software from before we used a fallback IP. Or maybe another configuration has already been selected in the device, one that does not display the IP address at startup. To handle this, please watch our video Access Without DHCP. You'll find a link to this in the description. All right, I've turned the DHCP server back on and restarted. Now we see the IP address in the display. With this, we can access Reactor using any web browser. Simply enter the IP address and hit Enter. You might see a login page. If so, enter the username admin and the password skahoy, all in lowercase letters. Click Sign In. Now we see Reactor home page. From here, we go to the Settings page. On the settings page, we locate the IP configuration section. Here, we can choose DHCP or static IP and set the desired address, mask, gateway, and DNS. When done, click Save. That's it, IP has been set. We recommend you power cycle the device after changing IP settings. Please note, just below, we see the Wi Fi configuration section. Bluepill devices have a built in Wi Fi module which can be used both as a hotspot or to connect to existing networks. But for now, we do not recommend using Wi Fi for production. It's simply not as reliable as an Ethernet cable. All right, now you know how to set the IP address. And by setting a static address, you no longer need a DHCP server in your network. Thank you for watching.